Dear friends, welcome to my video course on the approaches to analysis of teaching. What is the need for analysis of teaching? The teacher's role is not to teach or present subject matter, but to manage the instructional environment, diagnose students and direct the use of available resources. Teaching is a complex task. It involves interaction of several variables. The personality, interest of the teacher, content, objectives and methodology of teaching, social emotional climate of the class, and interaction with the learners are some of the factors directly influencing teaching in the classroom. <clears throat> These need to be analyzed. B.K. Parsi, Dr. B.K. Parsi in India has conducted several research studies and he has concluded that teaching contributes to a number of verbal and nonverbal teaching acts like questioning, accepting people's response, smiling, responding to people's response, movement in the class, gestures, etc. Teaching refers to analytical description of teaching and it mainly consists of various teaching activities undertaken by the teachers in the teaching process. Establishing teaching objectives and methods adopted to achieve these objectives. Selection and organization of content evaluation items. Selection and organization of learning experiences and activities. And cognitive and affective tasks or activities given to the students. What are the most important aspects of teaching? They are content, methodology, personality factors, learning and evaluation. The main task of teaching is to decide what to teach from the vast growing field of knowledge in each subject area and then organize that content into logical sequences to meet the needs of learners in the educational setting. So the teacher needs to give proper attention to the selection and analysis of content, keeping in background the objectives of teaching. The content is the basic determinant of school learning. The classroom teacher should select the content on the basis of psychological needs of the students. The selection of content should be related to the educational objectives and provide opportunity for multiple learning activities. Methodology. The variety in teaching methods is based on the fact that the individuals differ in the rate of learning. While selecting the teaching methods, the teacher needs to be concerned of certain considerations such as goals and objectives of teaching and learning, the requirements of the area or unit of teaching, learning needs of the students in the class, content of the prescribed curriculum, the availability of teaching resources. With all this, the teachers have to find their own methods of teaching. Since there is a definite interaction between teachers, students, teaching methodology and other aspects of the entire educational process, the teacher needs to know different methods of teaching in order to cater to the needs of different types of students. Then there are personality factors of teachers. A teacher should have initiative, self-motivation for quality work. He should be open-minded to opportunities and to invitations to study, self-evaluation, to participate in planning academic programs. He should have sufficient self-control and sufficient information and skills. He should avoid excessive dependence on extensive assistance from others. He should be self-dependent, finding his own way of teaching, his own educational philosophy for his teaching. He should accept and verify suggestive comments from the elders, from the experienced people and uh, apply them to teaching. He should avoid a complaining attitude and practice progressive attitude in his or her teaching career. The essential qualities of a teacher are personality and leadership, general academic achievement and professional competence, 
The personality factors include external appearance, physical health, intellectual qualities, mental health and social qualities. Then learning is another aspect to be analyzed in teaching. In the process of teaching, teachers need to consider some important principles of teaching. Individual differences in learning is the determining component in teaching. Learning is a developmental process, hence a learner requires a necessary guidance from the teacher. Proper goal setting, motivation and strategies are essential for effective learning. Learning becomes more effective under proper reinforcement. Transfer of learning takes place in teaching learning process. The process of learning has the following major characteristics. Learning is an active process in which the learner must be actively involved. Learning is considerably affected by individual goals, values and motives. Immediate reinforcement promotes learning. Effective feedback improves learning. Group atmosphere or climate affects both learning and the product of learning. The, a teacher should not forget that all learnings are interrelated processes. Then evaluation. Evaluation is a process of judging those factors such as learning outcomes, objectives, curriculum, learning experiences in the process of teaching learning. There are several steps in the process of evaluation. The first step is to determine and clarify what is to be evaluated, keeping in mind the objectives and content in the process of teaching. The second step is to select proper tools, appropriate tools for measuring the activity. The third step is to measure the learning outcome by using the already prepared tools or tests that is question paper. The fourth step is to compare the result measurement with what is expected from the students. The final step is to pass judgment on the basis of what is measured and what is expected of a student. Due to certain defects in the usual examination pattern, comprehensive continuous evaluation is very helpful for classroom teacher to evaluate properly in the classrooms. And there is another way of approaching the analysis of teaching that is a presage approach, process approach, product approach. Presage refers to the academic background and personal characteristics of teachers. Research by Cowell, Dr. Cowell, has shown that the intellectual aspect was the most important factor in determining one's aptitude for teaching. Dosaya has attempted to show that imagination and maturity were indicative of success in the teaching profession. What is process approach? Every aspect of teaching and learning is a process. Process refers to the performance and behavior of the teacher, learner behavior and teacher-student interaction in the classroom. FIATS, that is Flanders Interaction Analysis Category System and Micro-Teaching were more effective in changing the teacher behavior. What is product approach? Product in teaching learning implies the outcome of learning, change in people's behavior. Product is what students have acquired in the process of teaching learning activities. Those who prefer this approach think that the best test for teacher effectiveness is how well students achieve. Achievement tests and other psychological tests are used to measure teacher effectiveness. Thank you very much dear friends. God bless you abundantly. Thank you very much. Happy New Year 2023. Let us meet in other video lectures.